So should we as a collective stop tagging brands when it comes down to posting our photos and anything on social media? That's a question that I've been asking myself when it comes down to my photography, when I post on social media, whenever I post maybe let's say some clothing that is from a certain brand, should I tag them? Should I give them that quote unquote free cloud or maybe a brand that's reached out to me that there wasn't really anything exchanged but maybe a review of their gear that they just wanted to send out when I didn't commit to anything? Is that something that we as a you know creator should stop doing or is it something that's still beneficial because you're in the hopes that a brand itself is going to see your work one day and maybe reach out to you to get the licensing of the photos or maybe work with you in a project. I think there's a lot of pros and cons when it comes down to tagging brands on social media especially with brands in the sense of that you're not really having any connection with like for example let's pretend that nike comes out and you know I, I like their clothing i buy it i do a photo shoot kind of like a spec ad with it and then i post it on social media and i tag them does it really matter is that that's basically what it kind of kind of gets to because if you have some sort of like brand that comes and reaches out to you like for example i've had brands reach out to test out their lenses where i don't necessarily do any exchange with them it's not an agreement of any sort i tell them that they're welcome to send me the lens and if i like it enough I might make a video on it or use it for photos and maybe I'll tag them in it because I thought it was a great you know lens itself that I think people could benefit from it but there wasn't a really like a sponsored kind of thing so obviously I have no obligations to tag them whatsoever so I think it's gone to the point where whenever I'm taking photos and whether it's with like for example, recently I did a lens review for um, a Fuji X mount lens that I tested out that I did a photo shoot based off of like this attire from a Wilson tennis outfit that my wife wore. And I went ahead and tagged Wilson, which I highly doubt they're gonna see it, but it got me thinking about this. Should we stop tagging brands, especially when they don't, you know, license the photos or pay us? Because it also came up to be that I went um, recently to Europe in March and I stayed at this hotel and I had tried to reach out to them directly to say, hey, you know, I'm gonna be there to create some content in Barcelona. Could we work together to maybe do a, something extra where you can make maybe upgrade us to something. We already paid for a hotel. I'm not asking you to stay for free, but maybe see what we can work on with a marketing department where I can create content for you guys while I'm staying there. You give us maybe access to certain things that we wouldn't have access to. And that way do some exchange of some sort. Didn't really reach out to me back about it. And didn't really heard back much of anything whatsoever, to be honest. And while I was there, I decided to tag them just because I thought it could be an opportunity where they could see my post and maybe say, hey, you know what, let's, let's, you know, do a licensing agreement or let's do something that we can use those photos and images for. And the funniest thing is they actually used some of my photos without my consent and added a filter on top of them that that is a big no, no as well and barely tagged me in it where like it was like later on because I noticed that after they had messaged me that they had tagged me in it and they had reached out then after saying like hey we love these images could we please use them in our social media which weren't even the images they had already posted there were different ones and that's kind of the thought process that came of this and and I was like okay well you guys didn't reach out to me whenever I wanted to. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask him. I was like, hey, well, uh, what would you like to do with them? I can give you my licensing fees and rates and everything. And we can see what we can work out best for these images that you're, you're seeking out to me for. And then they just stopped answering. So it got kind of got to the point to me that I just don't believe in tagging brands anymore. I mean, a certain brand or here that I might believe in personally that I like a lot. Maybe I'll tag certain things about it, but it got to the point where like, it just got to the point that there's no pro into tagging a brand anymore on social media. You're not gonna get any of that spec ad or anything that they might say, you know what, I saw that spec ad that you did, looks awesome, let me just hire you for it. The only way that they will do that is if you get a you know viral moment, but at the end of the day, have the viral moment first and then tag them after, I guess. So that way they'll, they'll see that people interacted with it, I guess. But that's kind of my thought process with this. And I thought, what would happen if we as a collective decided to stop giving those brands that free advertisement and we all started to say, you know what, we're not gonna post anything about you unless you pay us. Because who gets taken advantage the most? The content creators. I get 
emails upon emails and i'm not even that big of a brand yet when it comes into my youtube channel and everything where people reach out to me to say hey we want to collaborate with you to send you this product for free and you can just make a video in exchange for that that would be great and dandy if your product had a high seo when it comes down to you know the search of it if it has no search whatsoever whenever i'm making a video about it what am i gaining besides giving you free advertisement and and that's when it kind of starts Get into that rabbit hole for me that if we stop giving those brands, you know, the free advertisement that everybody wants to be like, oh, you know what? I made this, you know, spec ad for Adidas or Nike or Lululemon or anything of that sort that is not really adding to your portfolio per se, or maybe add it to your portfolio without posting it on social media exactly without tagging them directly it could give you a boost in a sense i guess but at the end of the day it's not so much the brand that you're making the spec at for it's more the visuals and the storytelling that you're doing and you can make it about a random brand that you made let's say so i guess that's kind of like excuse of like you can't just say that oh well i'm using it for my portfolio yeah i mean you can't really add that you made a fake night commercial to claim it as you did an official one anyway so kind of doesn't matter to me, I guess. And and that's the thought process when it comes on to this. It's just, it's interesting and it's a, a kind of a bit of a sit down, like podcast kind of style of video mentality, I guess, because it just, it's interesting to, to think about more, especially after the situations that happened where like, a very known hotel in Barcelona, ghosted, and then all of a sudden, once they saw my photos, now they wanna have them and use them for the social media, but they don't wanna pay for anything whatsoever. When they could have gotten it for a lot cheaper, to be honest, if they would have just said like, you know what, we're gonna upgrade you to a bigger room because we want you to have that experience and take some photos for us, where it would have cost them like almost little to nothing because it's not like there were gonna be a, a room that was used perhaps. It would have been even nicer, but after that matter, it just kinda of got to the point where I just go, you know what, is it worth it to even tag these brands anymore? Is it worth it to use my audience to tag their, you know, brand for them to gain something from me, when in reality, people are gonna see my photo no matter what, and they're gonna see whether it's good or bad, they're gonna like it or not, whether it was a brand of some sort or not, and if I tag them or not, if that makes sense. That's kind of the thought process that I have with that when it comes down to that, it's just, should we all as a collective stop tagging brands unless, you know, they actually pay? And, and some people might think it's a bias thing because you're gonna say, well, you're only gonna tag a brand that's paying you, so how do we know that you're legit? Well, I'm using them, of course. I mean, I'm not gonna associate my brand with a brand that I don't believe in or that I enjoy. I might test out things to see if it's something that could work, but I'm not gonna promote anything that I myself are not using. Like for example, if I wouldn't be using, let's say this type of Shure microphone, I wouldn't be having it in frame and maybe you know, making a video about it if I was making a video about it or testing out a lens to see the pros and cons of everything. It's not always about promoting a brand, it's about the experience within it to see how it can help myself, that it could help somebody else, but not really being an ad about it if that kind of like, make sense about it. But that's just my thought process when it comes down to that. So I wanna leave it up to you. What do you think we should be doing as a collective when it comes down to, you know, photographers, videographers, just overall content creators on social media? Should we stop tagging brands as a, you know, overall until they start actually either working with campaigns, with marketing and budgets, with all sizes of, you know, quote unquote influencers, because a lot of these brands tend to reach out to you to repost their thing, but then they don't want to support you in the aspect when they're getting that free content that they're willing to, you know, share on their social media. If they didn't find it worth it, then they shouldn't even, you know, want to share it whatsoever. Reposting a story, it is what it is, but posting it on your, you know, actual feed is a different story. Would love to know your thoughts when it comes down to that. If you do you tag brands? Do you not tag them? Do you plan to do it in the future or do you not plan to do it anymore? I would love to know your thoughts when it comes down to that just to see if we're on the same page or maybe you can help me see it in a different way that could help me out to go forward and you know tag brands that make sense or maybe you know stop overall doing it whatsoever. But with all that said and done guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.